What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Car Inside. It's a new week here on iRacing, and this is take two uh, for this week's qualifying breakdown. We started the wrong lap just a second ago, but we got a very special guest, Mr. Andy Poliski from the Venom Truck Series League. He is our wink wink rival over there in that league. We try to keep it kayfabe uh, for all you wrestling fans and uh, have a little fake rivalry over there, but. Andy's a nice enough guy and a good friend of ours that took enough time out of his uh, busy schedule to uh, break down a lap for us here at Circuit of the Americas, which is in the home state where he is from, uh, Texas. It's a few hours away from him, and uh, it, I thought it was very fitting for him, one, because he's from Texas, and two, because he is one of the better, one of the better, if not the best, road racing guys in the Venom Truck Series League. He's uh, most likely going to lock up the championship this coming Tuesday night. I believe all he has to do is start the race, and uh, he'll have that thing locked up. So it's very appropriate that he's doing the breakdown this week, uh, very timely as well as he's going to, as I said, going to get that championship. But uh, Andy, thank you for doing this, and uh, anything that you want to say here, uh, feel free to uh, step in and say as you, everybody watches the uh, hot lap in uh, real time we're going to go back and break it down and watch it in half speed again and uh, Andy will explain in detail everything that's going on but this is his hot lap for uh, Circuit of the Americas. Andy I'll just let you take over at this point. Thanks for having me Nathan. Um, like Nathan said we uh, we have a good friendly rivalry in Venom. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best road racer in Venom, but I'm one of the better ones in the stock cars. Um, I prefer the cars that like to slide around on the road courses versus the GT cars that have a lot of downforce. Uh, but Coda is a very fun track. It's a very technical track. Um, a lot of different ways to run it and run it quick. Um, the biggest thing with Coda is to try to be smooth um, because a lot of your corners do flow into one another. So you mess up one corner and you can actually mess up three. And then this corner here, this is, I think I went down to first, but you can take it first or second. And that is a 221.496, and that is Andy's hot lap. And here we will go back and break this lap down. Um, we will start it as he is setting up. Anything you do in the final corner here to set up for your hot lap, just simply uh, drive it like you would if you were just trying to lay down the hot lap. Yeah, absolutely. You want to drive it like you're going to lay down the hot lap. So slower in, faster out. Um, you don't want to, you don't, faster out so you don't give up a lot of speed here on the straightaway. Coming up here at the top of the hill, about right where the pit exit is, the um, there's a the red paint goes away that's where you want to start breaking and making your way to the inside i kind of missed the mark here a little bit you want to be closer to that uh rumble strip but still let it run all the way out um, from there here you want to kind of go back towards the left to set up this next corner um this corner it sets up the s's um the s's are very very technical they um they actually start wide and uh narrow down. Um, I actually start here in third gear, and I believe I'll go down to second, about right here. Um, clip the apex there, look for the turtle. Again, clip it there. Um, you don't want to hit the turtle as they really upset the truck. On this corner here, it's good to try to hug this rumble strip as close as possible to set up this next corner. Um, you want to stay out to the right and then cut this corner right here. and then you start going up this hill. Um, this corner actually sets up this next one. So kind of slow your entry a little bit to get a better exit. Um, you definitely want to put the right side tires on the rumble strip and then get us far left here to set up the run down the hill to the hairpin. Uh, this little kink is very tricky at times, especially as the tires get older. It will want to slide the truck around. Uh, braking point up here, uh, just past the sign, heavy on the brakes. Make sure you blip your throttles as you downshift. Um, that way you don't have any axle hop. Uh, cut this corner as close as you can and then let it run out. Uh, first gear, easy on the throttle to the exit and then mat it. 
this is the fastest part of the track. It's also, you can gain or lose a lot of time depending on how you get out of that corner. Coming up to the one of the more technical portions of the track, the uh, stadium portion, uh, you're going to go all the way to fourth gear here. On the right-hand side, just past the 250 marker, there's actually a little um, camera right there. That's my braking point. Um, heavy on the brakes. Make sure you're matching your, your RPMs on your downshifts. Um, stay as far out to the right as you can to cut this corner. And then accelerate out. Um, this portion up here, it gets really slick. Uh, it, you can go first or second. Um, first carries a little more speed, but it um, it wants to slide the truck around. Second, uh, you don't have nearly as much wheel spin, but it is a little bit slower through here. Coming up on this corner, you do want to stay wide. You don't want to necessarily cut this corner to set up this corner here. This is a very, very tight corner. Go down to first gear, run wide, and then put your left sides on the rumble strips there. Um, again, wheel spin on the exit, uh, be easy on the throttle so you don't uh, spin the tires too bad. I actually go into third here, but you can stay into second. Um, it, again, just wheel speed. Um, it, helps, uh, it helps me to um, not have a bunch of wheel spin here. Um, exit wide, come back down. I always tend to stay a little bit more to the right here. There's not a very good braking point, but about right here is when you want to start braking into second gear to get ready for this final complex. And then this corner here right before the front stretch, it's very misleading because it is actually a little bit more than a 90 degree. Just past that sign is a braking point. Um, again, first or second gear. Um, first gets you a little bit better launch. Second's a little bit safer. Uh, coming back out on the front stretch, and here is the start finish line. Do you find grip on the rumble strips kind of similar to how you do at Watkins Glen? It helps rotate the truck a little bit. Um, the rumble strips here are not nearly as pronounced as like Watkins Glen. Um, a lot of it for me is just kind of the mark. Um, when I hear the rumble strip, I know where my point is um so like especially through the s's the rumble strips are the um that's where my my mark is is hit the rumble strip just before the turtle right i've seen a little rubber uh build up on the rumble strips as uh, as i was watching that and i know with watkins glenn usually that uh rubber on the uh, rumble strips is actually grip. So I didn't know if it was true to that or if it's just for visuals. I was just kind of curious myself watching that. It, um, I would say there is a little bit of grip there because if you do go a little wide, um, it does want to tend to have the truck carry out on the corners a lot more. Right. Um, the biggest thing here is the track limits are really, really tight. So the you know the real guys all run way out on those corners, and unfortunately, i racing doesn't let us. So um, unless you want to have a lot of incidence points, you know, you got to try to keep it tight through there. Right. Um, what steering ratio are you using? On all road courses, I prefer an eight to one. Um, braking, um, I do go down a little bit from the default. Uh, I think default is sixty five. I run sixty two percent. Um, it helps to balance the truck out a little more. So you just use 62 and then use more brake? Yep, I uh, use a little more brake. Um, the biggest thing, like I said, on your downshifts is ma make sure you're rev matching um, because if you don't, it will uh, axle hop and um, want to spin you out. Right. Did, uh, did you notice a lot of tire wear? Did you run a lot of laps at any point? Um, never really ran that many laps for this, um, on this particular conditions, but generally, uh, the tires do wear a bit, um, here, you know, the normal road race tire, 
it's it's built a little different than the oval tires you know um i believe if i remember right the last race i ran here you definitely wanted to take tires on your your stop um when you had to pit um tire temp is more is a bigger thing on road course than than wear itself you can have on the road race tire you could have 40 percent wear but if your temps are in in a decent place they'll uh you're not going to have nearly as like fall off as if you had 80 percent wear but your tires were in the 260 270 range right okay well i think uh <clears throat> trying to think of anything else i think that pretty well covers it all um tire wear brake bias steering ratio everything yeah all right man well uh everybody i'd uh, appreciate you watching car inside i appreciate andy taking the time to uh, do this for all of us give us a breakdown here on the channel especially at a road course it's a, a very technical road course it's a popular road course that i know a lot of people are wanting to run but uh, it's hard to jump into these things without any practice or track time or really without any understanding of how to do it so uh hats off to you for uh for doing this again thank you very much and uh hopefully you guys uh enjoy uh see fixed this week and uh Thanks for watching Car Inside. Um, is there anything else you want to say? No, I appreciate you ha having me on. Um, good luck to everybody this week and officials. And uh, hopefully we can have some good close racing on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, Rockingham. So uh, anybody watching this, be sure to uh, check out uh, Turn 200 on YouTube. Uh, you can find those guys' uh, link in any of my uh league uh, videos uh, under the description all you have to do is just go to our playlist here on car inside click on venom truck series league and i've got a couple from this year we started recording those here again so uh, check out those guys watching on turn 200 or you can watch it on the channel i'll upload it after the race but should be a good one we got rockingham uh, darlington was a fun one it uh it got interesting uh, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. uh yeah it, our racing interfered with a, a very good race um and it's kind of, it's very disappointing um but you'll have that from time to time but uh yeah again thanks andy for doing this thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you all out on the track thank you guys um like nathan said also if you are interested in uh, venom uh, we are starting recruiting here in the next couple of weeks for the truck series we also are going to be running a secondary series the venom classic cup series we're running gen 4 um gen 4 cup cars this season we're gonna have a 12 race season um if you have any interest you, you know look up our discord um venom truck series and we'll have some information there we'll post up uh recruitment races in the next uh, couple weeks yes i'm glad you said that i forgot all about the gen 4 league coming so yeah that's another thing for you guys to look up any questions you have you can leave a comment on here or you can uh, well leave a comment on here i can invite you to the discord you can find us on facebook uh, anything like that. Appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a good one.